Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And it's feeling pretty good this morning. It Thank you, guys. Uh, something that's confused me since I've moved down to Cape Town is the love affair with pickled fish. Mm. And understanding... Yeah, that's yeah that's completely. Yeah. I think a lot of people come at it from a completely different angle. So we thought we'd delve a little deeper this morning and try to understand it better for ourselves. And obviously there is a very powerful religious underpinning. So in so many ways to honor life, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ during this week, otherwise known as Holy Week, which commemorates Palm Sunday and then Jesus Christ's entry into Jerusalem, the Last Supper, and it all culminates on his crucifixion on Good Friday. That's as much as we could simplify the Easter flow and the food we eat is obviously a big part of how we go through that process mm. in this religion. Absolutely. A yeah, and I mean, we know what's on the menu this <laughs> Easter. When it comes to preparing and eating pickled fish on Good Friday, it is an age-old old tradition for many South Africans. It's a dish that has become synonymous with Cape Town with so many variations, usually served with hot cross buns, which is, of course, course a favorite on its own yeah that's how i was actually introduced to it <laughs> and my brain struggled to understand the combination of yeah but once you get I mean, it that's a, it's, it, a, it's quite a bomb of flavors <laughs> if you think about <laughs> it with the, the pickled fish and the hot cross bun but i mean many prepare the dish using recipes passed down generation to generation um you know so i don't know what's the experience i mean i feel like i'm a little bit out of my depth here because i never really got introduced to pickled fish as as a youngster mm. you know it was uh, we never really, you know, growing up in the north, um, far from the oceans, <laughs> you know, we, we really didn't get into that tradition of pickled fish. But I will say that recently, fairly recently, I've had cold pickled fish with some fresh greens, and it literally blew my mind. It oh. is lovely. It was it's, amazing. It is, it's a flavor bazooka. It is. Well, my mom's got a recipe that everyone loves, so she always makes and distributes to her friends. But, um, yeah, I know my dad's really looking forward to pickled fish. Have you, have you learned how to do it yet? Is that something no, that gets handed over at a particular maybe point? Maybe now's the now. perfect time to have the disclaimer <laughs> that, unfortunately, the pickled fish bus missed me. I always, no, I always you've prefer got a the hot cross buns. Yeah. Um, Pickled fish has just never been, even as a child, unfortunately, it's not something I got to like. But I'm looking forward to today's recipes <laughs> because we are going to be doing pickled other things. Um, we're going to do everything, but there is an understanding beneath it, and I think that's the most important line to connect to here. Yeah. So however you do it, whether it expresses your familial culture or your religion, it is a special time to express that right now. And it is something that is very uniquely South African, and I love that. So I'm going to take ownership of that. It's a great example of us putting our own thumbprint on traditional holidays, which is a very South African thing to do. So whatever you feel your dietary choices are, because I know a lot of people can't actually have fish, and um, they might even be allergic to it, we are wishing you and your family a blessed Easter with so many celebrations. However your culture plays out through that, make sure that you've got your family around you and you savour every second. 